Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Vieron, and today I'm bringing you guys a ridiculous flood build in Skull and Bones. We have got it on the brig, however, if you want more survivability, the bark works and the snow works. You will be giving up some flood damage, but I would go with the bark because you've got the five furniture slots, whereas the snow doesn't. And yeah, so I've tested it on the brig, tested it on the bark. Obviously with the brig, if you ram them, it will cause flood damage, so that's a bonus of the brig. However, the bark doesn't have that, so you will be giving up some flood damage if you wanted to go the route of the bark. So, let's get straight into it. So, we are standing in the helm office right now because I get tired of them talking on the dock. And it's annoying, like, how loud the notification sound is. Is there anyone else who feels that? But anyway, so as you can see, we've got our purple brig here. But again, I was more comfortable on the bark than I was the brig. We have run out to torpedoes because I was testing. And in the middle of testing, I ran out. But as you can see, them are the ammo that we are using. And this is the build that seems to work best in order to create some flooding damage to the enemy. Whether you're PvP or whether you're PvE, it doesn't matter. It works in both. <coughs> so, manage ship. Here we go. Weapons. So at the front, we've got Rama's Legacy. Why have we got Rama's Legacy? I have tested this on each part of the ship. The sides of the ship, the back of the ship, the front of the ship. I've tested it everywhere. And I was always the most accurate with the front of the ship. Now, a lot of people, including myself, don't necessarily like torpedoes. But I have been trying to get better with them. And when it comes to flood damage... These have flooding 3 on, which is 30% damage from the flooding effect. And also you can do 150% more damage when the target is beyond 100 meters. And then you've got Cataclysmic, which is deals an increasing amount of damage for every simultaneous hit. So again, they're not the easiest thing to use, but when you start to master them, the damage, the flood damage, everything is its almost unmatched. And I've got them on the front because I'm just more accurate with them on the front than I was on the back, than I was on the sides. I was just way more accurate. But it is personal preference. You can put these weapons on any side of the boat you want. Maybe you're used to torpedoes being on the back and basically destroying those who are chasing you. Again, it's up to you. But you cannot have a flood damage build without the Rama's Legacy. Next, we've got the Flooding Demi Cannon 3. Again, we've got 20% flood damage. Also, these Demi Cannons are absolutely ridiculously good. I love Demi Cannons on this game. Granted, your ship is built for short range, which sometimes puts you to disadvantage. But if you want a long range ship, just stick the carronades on there. They're only flooding one, so they're only 10%. But you can also you can put the carronades on there as well if you want to be long range me personally i love the demi cannons so we have got short range for that extra flooding damage and on the other side as you can see we've got demi cannons again the flooding demi cannons to be exact why flooding two again adds 20 percent damage as flooding damage these these two things are absolutely ridiculous i love them Next, on the back, we have got some carronades. Why? It's the flooding damage. It's a flood damage build. So, I am using flooding damage everywhere. And then it adds 50% of the damage as severe damage when target is flooded. So, it's nice to have these carronades when you have flooded a target. So, you could also put these on the sides, like I suggested. If you can manage to flood your target, the carronades will do extra damage, 50% extra severe damage. So, if you prefer the longer range, you could put these carronades on the sides, and then maybe on the back, you could put a demi cannon. I don't like putting short range on the back. So, just go with whatever you want. However, if you can manage to flood the target, the carronade is going to do 50% of the damage. I've got it on the back because a lot of the time I've got ships all around me. I've got ships up to the front. I've got a couple of ships to the side. And I've even got a ship sometimes behind me. And I want to be able to do damage on all fronts. 
And because it's flood damage, that's why we went with carronades at the back. And then we've got the Leopold 3, which is flooding 2. Adds 20% of damage as flooding. And then it adds 15% of damage as explosive damage in a 50 meter blast radius. Again, the more flooding we can get on this build, the better. Leopold 3 is really, really good. Next, we're going to talk about the armor. <clears throat> so I just got done finishing testing this armor. It was the Royal Custodian. Sadly, Black Prince outperformed it on the brig. However, if you go the route of the bark, then... You could either go Black Prince, or you could either go Ouroboros. You don't need Wailing Ward, unless you're fighting Lepest. Go, If you're killing Lepest, you need Wailing Ward to help you defend against that poison. But Ouroboros for the Bark is really, really handy. And Black Prince for the Brig. It performed better, but it's not going to save it. The Brig is still squishy. That's just how it is. Major furniture. So we got the rigging station. Now I know a lot of people are going to ask why aren't you using munitions? Because as you can see, increases duration of flooding and ablaze effects applied to enemy ships by 100%, but reduces damage dealt from these effects. Uh, these effects by 30%. I don't want to lose any damage from this build. 30% is a decent drop off, and I don't want to lose any damage, which is why we've gone for rigging station because it gives us more survivability. And also, the demi cannons are going to be popping them crew attacks like crazy. So, we have gone Reagan Station. However, let me know what you guys run on your flood builds. Maybe you do run as munitions mixer, but I just can't justify that 30% drop off in damage. Next, we've got increased duration of the flooded effect on enemy ships by 10%. So, even still, we're not using the 100% duration furniture, but we have gained 10%. It's better than gaining nothing, you know? And it's better than losing 30% of the of the damage. However, Lead Kettle is in number 2. And then we got number 3. We got Demi Cannon Works. Increases elemental damage multiplier of the Demi Cannon by 19%. The more elemental damage we can get, the more that flooding effect is going to hurt. So we definitely need more of them. So next we've got increases max hull health. We need, if you're running the brig, you need every bit of survivability you can get. And the double planked hull is really useful for that. However, if you're using the bark, you could also go with the double planked hull because it has five furniture slots, so why not? I would go double planked hull on pretty much every single ship that I make, I think. Unless I want to just go all damage if there's a healer in the group or something like that. And then we've got the mortar works, which is 19% mortar flooded damage because of the elemental damage. And that'll be 19% adding on to that. That was a weird way of saying it, but you guys get the gist anyway. So that is essentially my build. You can use it on the bark. You can use it on the brig. It's up to you what you, you guys use it on. It works. It's had some ridiculous testing phases. Uh, I've put it through its ringer is it unsinkable no no sink no ship sorry is unsinkable I, I get tired of seeing like on reddit and everything i've got an unsinkable build no you haven't the no ship is unsinkable the brig in testing it has been sunk the bark in testing it has been sunk so that's just how it is ships are gonna sink some of the content is actually ridiculous but that's you know it's just what it is let me know what you think of this build down in the comments below leave a like on the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new and you want to make your way back to the channel thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one